It was incredible, absolutely incredible, and what an amazing way to hear the news from a former teammate who's been so amazing to me on and off the court. It meant so much to me with my life as a Perth Wildcat and then now as a father and person, you know, beyond the game. So Sean Redditch idolised the guy, uh, loved being a teammate and to have him break the news was so fitting and then to have my wife and three daughters walk in to celebrate immediately afterwards. I was blown away, uh, caught up, uh, speechless, got quite emotional in there and now I'll just be grinning from ear to ear. Can't believe what's happened um, and still coming to terms with it. So it was an incredible, incredible 13 years representing a club I absolutely love. And now to hear that news, something I never thought I'd hear was, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, completely blown away and just very grateful. Yeah, it took a bit of planning, but we were obviously a little bit worried that it might get out. Any inkling at all? None whatsoever, which means I've figured out how easy it is for my wife to keep secrets from me. <laughs> uh, but they were brilliant. I honestly had no idea what was coming up. And when Sean walked in, I thought we were about to talk Perth Wildcats basketball. They'd gone two on over the weekend. I thought that's what the conversation would be about on air. And then for him to tell, him, tell me what he did. Uh, yeah, just incredibly grateful forever to the Wildcats, the Red Army, you know, changed my life and uh, teammates like Sean, Greg Hyde, Jesse Wax, of Brad Robbins, Bryce Cotton, you know, I could go through all of them from day one through to the day I retired and they've all, all had an impact in my life. What were, what were the emotions when you, when you found out? Did it take a, a little bit for it to sink in? Well, it's still sinking in, it's still so raw. I think I'll go home after, <laughs> I'm still actually supposed to be on air right now. Uh, I think I'll go home, put the feet up, and that's where it'll start to sink in when I get to call mum and dad, you know, speak to some former coaches, uh, some people who've had an impact in my life because this uh, is just something I never thought would ever happen. And I actually moved to Perth thinking it'd be three years with the Wildcats, head back to New South Wales where I grew up, play for a New South Wales team, and, and that'd be it. But instead I fell in love with the city, the people, the club. Uh, and now I'm lucky enough to see the number 53 hanging up in the rafters at some stage. I was going to ask about that. What, what will the emotions be when you, you finally see the 53 hanging up on the, on the rafters on February 4 against the Breakers? Well, firstly, it's so fitting that it's on my mum's birthday. Mum and dad, the sacrifices they made in order, me, in order for me just to pursue the sport I love as a junior it is incredible and something I can never truly repay. But to uh, walk in there and see the number hang alongside you know, players I idolised growing up and then a player I got to call a teammate in Sean Redditch, yeah, it's something I'll never take for granted and I dare say we'll put a smile on my face forever and a day. Perfect. Thanks, Damon. Congratulations. No, <laughs> thank you. You got me. You got me good. That was amazing.